Maurice is coming with the scripture. show forth all his praise. Blessed are they that keep judgment and he that doth righteousness at all times. Remember me, O Lord, with the favor that thou hast bearest upon thy people. O visit me with thy salvation that I may see the good of thy chosen, that I may rejoice in the gladness of thy nation, that I may glory with thine inheritance. We have sinned with our fathers. We have committed iniquity. We have done wickedly. Our fathers understood not thy wonders in Egypt. They remembered not the multitude of thy mercies, but provoked him at the sea, even at the Red Sea. Nevertheless, he saved them for his name's sake, that he might make his mighty power to be known. Blessed is the reading of the word. Amen. At this time, worship the praise him. Come on, praise team. together for God. Let's give God the glory and the honor that he is due. How many of you know your hallelujah belongs to him and him alone? All right, I don't want y'all to sit down on God. I want you to stand up, participate. Come on, worship. Begin to worship. Just begin to bless his name. Oh, begin to bless his name. I
of your heart.
Jesus. He's my Savior. When the storms are raging, He's my shelter.
Clap your hands and praise Him. Clap your hands and praise Him. Clap your hands and praise Him. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm so glad that God saved me. I'm so glad that He delivered me. I'm so glad that He's keeping me. I look at every day as a gift, especially coming out of the pandemic, where millions of people lost their life. And I think about the old wine and song that said millions didn't make it, but I was one of the ones who did. And I give him glory. Hallelujah. Well, we're on the express train. I'm going to ask Sister Tasha to come. She's going to do our church history. And she's going to give the welcome address. Say amen for us. She can. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. So lovely to see all these smiling faces. Welcome, welcome, welcome to True Vine Ministries, Church of God in Christ. So the pastor is none other than Pastor Vincent Ross. And thank you for coming to our 10th church anniversary. Yeah. So, um, well, welcome, welcome. I hope you feel welcome already. Um, and um, sorry, I just kind of drew a blank. I'm just in awe, I guess, just still spiritually high from this morning. We had a great time this morning. If you weren't here, you missed it. You can watch the playback. Um, and even Friday night, we started, um, and Bishop, the bishop was amazing. And I'm just so, I'm looking forward to the word coming for today. That's, that's, that's really the meat of it, and that's what we're here for. We are celebrating 10 years it's our milestone you guys and we're just really excited we're excited to see all your faces we're excited that we can say we made it yes. amen i mean i'm looking all over the room and I'm not to scan or try to get in trouble or anything but i have to say sister sharice is i think um the longest standing member in the building right and you know <laughs> yeah 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 10 years ago um when I won't say when God gave him the vision, but when he answered the call, I'll say ten years ago it was about seven people Watch and, your mouth. and just a whole in hotel room. Still and um, you know it grew and grew and grew, and we went to different locations, and, and it was just like infectious the way the people were when we gathered together. It was it was really amazing. We had favor at the hotel from it being one rate and they drastically decreasing the rate, somebody coming in and paying for us to have service. They didn't even want people having church in there. And then somebody go and pays so that we could be there. And then even when we, you know, we got, it got a little uncomfortable sometimes the 10 years wasn't a bliss, right? So we had some ups and we had some downs. And sometimes, you know, looking for places and dealing with crazy landlords and stuff and people who didn't want to honor God's people but take their money and um, God still even blessed us out of that so from where we were and the things that people would have said because of where we were we created some serious milestones we, we came some ways we fed some families we've given clothes away we've been in the community with the people and and the church without walls and, and um, just just being able to be a blessing to not just what's in the four walls 
being able to minister to people even if they're not who's sitting next to you they're still this please that this building couldn't hold all of true line if everybody could show up at one time and i'm so grateful because the the outpour of love that we've received just at reaching the milestone has been amazing maybe you don't realize it but the pandemic didn't just uh, diminish um, lives and take jobs and stuff but churches were closing up and that's the place you go for help so if you have nowhere to go then what and even while the other churches and there were some churches with bigger and greater statures than ours and we made it so I'm sorry I, I it's a little personal for me for me personally I, I can't speak on behalf of anybody else but but for me I'm just so grateful because when they told me that I wouldn't make it from ovarian cancer or when they went they said I wouldn't live through um, uterine cancer or when I had to have you know all these emergency surgeries and I hemorrhaged for months and months at a time my church family is what's kept, what kept me lifted I couldn't find too many other people around but true on we are just a bunch of imperfect people serving a perfect God on Main Street making all this noise and I promise you, if you ever come in contact or worship with anybody from Truvant, you will always remember that particular worship experience because they will let you know where they're from and who their pastor is. We're just so proud of our church. And even with all of those lovely things, along the way we had some, we had some trials. We had some hard times that we went through. We, we lost some some strong soldiers, some people that really, um, they didn't make the ministry, but you knew that when you came in contact with those people, that they loved you. You knew what church they were from. You knew. There is so many people in here who can attest to, oh, I'm, I was greeted at the sidewalk before I even got in the building with a hug and a smile. Not everybody will give you that. When you, yeah, this is a ministry of love. It's not, and you're not going to find that everywhere. How many times have you been somewhere and you're the newcomer and people are looking at you like you're crazy? But then we had people like some of the fallen soldiers that's on, listed on the screen. And we just wanted to make sure that we could honor them. Sister Courtney West, I remember when she came. It was her birthday. A Sunday, at a Sunday morning service. Yes. We had two services that particular Sunday. She said she hadn't been to church in years. And something just told her on her birthday one day, I gotta come in, I gotta go see what these people making all these noise. And she came in and she said it was the best day of her life. Now she had, she didn't know we was having two services, but she left real quick after the first service, went home, cooked some food and came back and fellowships with us and joined the church that day because she felt love that she hadn't experienced anywhere else and that meant something. Deacon Jason Matthews has something about the way he worships. He wasn't really a singer, you know, but, but when he sung, he sung from the depths of his belly. Yeah. When he worshiped all the way down into the last service we had, and I remember because it was my service, sick and all with the affliction in his body and I remember him in the side of the service leaping for joy while the cancer was in his body leaping for joy screaming to God thank you God thank you Jesus and I'll never forget it brother Louis Escola was like a brother to me uh, came into my life when I was about 15 years old and I got to be with him until the end of his. And he just had a way about him. If you knew him, you knew him. <laughs> and you were always going to laugh. You were always going to be smiling. He just did that for you. We're never going to forget that. Elder Fred Banks was not a member of our church. Yes, but stayed under watch care with us and um, was the husband to uh, evangelist Lisa Banks. But rightfully so, was just his own powerhouse. Amen. Uh -huh. He made time for you. It didn't matter if it was a thousand of us. He made sure he individualized time with each and every person so nobody felt unloved. 
unnoticed. I used to say, I'm afraid you would see me when I was invisible, when nobody else could. And that's something that we'll never forget. Sister Camille Green wasn't with us a long time. She came with us right before the pandemic uh, started. And she was sick and had afflictions in her body, but she would sit in the back of the church. She would, she would make her press her way to church, sit in the back of the church and come with her tambourine and beat that tambourine to the glory of God. And unfortunately, she didn't make it through the pandemic, but we will never forget who she is. I was trying not to cry with this. Mother Desi. Well, she was, she was mom to us all. She had her own style. She did things her own way. She was her own woman. And she would come in and, ain't gonna sing it, so don't play it, but she would just remind us, faith, 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 just a little more faith. Yeah. And she would sing that thing I'm on the sick days. She said, I ain't got no tell, I ain't got nothing to say, but I'ma sing my song, and we already knew what it was. Yeah. And at first, you know, it's like, okay, she, you know, she gonna sing that song. But eventually, you started singing with her until you believed everything she said. Faith, 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 just a little more faith. We will never, never, I have to stop with that. We will never forget who mother was and lastly, Sister Barbara Johnson. That was a hard hit. Um, that was, she was just amazing. I mean, she really was just amazing. The smile was infectious. Every time you see her with the biggest smile on her face. And she loved God. She loved her pastor, and she was des de uh, desperately devoted to making sure that she continued to learn the word of God. Amen. If somebody was talking and it was something that she didn't she didn't catch, uh, you're gonna have to run that back. I gotta get my book, and she got and she's writing notes and she's catching everything. And she got her phone and she's recording everything. She was in Bible school, I believe. Dr. Davis was her teacher at one point, yeah. and she was just. We will never forget her. Amen. I thought it was really important that we make mention of those names. And although my grandmother's picture is not there, I have to say her to Mother Charlestine Ross. Amen. And I will close out with that. And if you ever came in contact with Mother Ross, if you ever came in contact with her, I promise you, one, the first meeting will always feel like you've known her all your life. Everybody's mama literally the mother to the motherless because her place was just always open always taking somebody in feeding somebody praying with somebody even while she was sick and she she's the reason for my push on the hard days i remember seeing her sick and afflicted and still going so when i don't sit down you know where it came from the stubbornness from mother ross just came and even for the few times that she came to be with us would say sweet words or sing her song and sit down but when she made sure she was leaving she made sure she greeted everybody she put her arms around you she gave you a kiss you know god loves you baby and that's not something you get everywhere all of that is i'm saying all those things to say that these people help make the family that we are at true vine because it's not just a church it's a family Sister Barbara Johnson didn't have family, so when she came to us, we were her sisters and her brothers. And we made sure we stuck together. We ate and celebrated holidays together at the church. We fellowshiped even when there wasn't a second service or anything, just to be together. And that fellowship is a big part of what we are and, who, and what we do here at True Vine. So I'm sorry for taking up all your time. I just wanted to make sure that we can make mention to our angels. And I won't say they're fallen because we know they're risen. And we know where they are. We know that we will see them again in heaven. I'm turning it back over. Thank you for your time. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. At this time, um, we're getting ready for the word. I don't know about you. But I'm in anticipation of hearing something from God. And uh, our speaker today is no stranger to us, Bishop Tyrone Leland Butler. 
I knew him before he was bishop, before he was elder. Matter of fact, before he was minister, because him and Tommy and Robert Powell used to hang out together. That's none of y'all business. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. And uh, he's always shown himself the same. And he loved God and loved the people of God. And uh, I'm proud to be a pastor in his jurisdiction. New York Southeast. The greatest jurisdiction in the church of God in Christ. Yeah, I said it. In, uh, before I take it back, I'll add more to it. Amen. And so we are uh, in a good place to receive from such a man of God. Before he comes, I'm going to ask the uh, the house songbird to come. Sister Oniasia Singletary. She's going to come and render the sermonic selection. And then the next speaking voice you'll hear will be that of Bishop Tyrone Butler. When he comes, I want you all to stand to receive the man of God. God bless you. Good afternoon, church. Um, I have been a little MIA for a little bit. Some of you may know I'm going through a lot with my sister and her health, but um, she's doing better. Um, the doctor said she would never be able to speak again. She's speaking. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. They told her she would never be able to eat again. She's sipping on stuff. <laughs> so, All God, right. I serve. God, I serve. He has the last word. Mm -hmm. But this song, ever since my sister was in the hospital, just kept coming to me, coming to me. So I just want to bless you guys with this song. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. Jesus to break every chain, 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 break every chain. Jesus 
trust. And I was telling someone the other week that um, a lot of us ministry banks, we we send out seed <laughs> and we send out money mm -hmm. to soil that ain't producing nothing. Yeah, say that, say that. All right, I, I, I'm going to lose the this side of the church. I'm going to talk to this side. We send out money to all types of folk and stuff that's producing nothing. So you might as well, Sister Keys, take an opportunity to sow your seed into productive ground where the kingdom of God is being built and established. And so I'm going to ask you and I'm going to challenge your faith today that you can get a seed of significance. Again, the true line, I know you've already established your order. And I know they're putting up the ways of giving on the screen. Uh, Salvation and Restoration members, if you want to give electronically, you can give it straight to the ways of giving that are put on the screen. And just let Mother Jackie know what you're giving. But I want everyone to stand and I release you by faith. And I want you to come and touch the basket. And signify that I'm sowing the seed today into good ground. On this 10th year, this anniversary year, we're going to make sure that the True Vine Ministry knows that we are supporting the work of the Lord. And so, again, if every member of Salvation and Restoration, just make up in your mind, help pastors that get at least $20 or $25. We'll be right there where we need to be. And so I'm going to ask you all over the building to start getting those seeds and resting on your feet so that we can do this quickly and believe God for what God is going to do. So I'm get those seeds on your feet. I'm going to be putting the ways of giving up. Come on, all over the building, stand on your feet, stand on your feet. those seeds and hold them up in your right hand if you're giving electronically take your phone uh, yeah there it is dollar sign tv and coaching uh, members of full gospel mission you're with me too y'all are with me so y'all uh, sow the seed and let mother jackie know what you're sowing and i know again true my members you already are working with your leadership team in terms of what you were asked to sow for this anniversary and we're believing god that we're going to go over the top and sowing seed as a king call hold it up in your right hand before the lord God, our Father, we thank you this day for these your people. Thank you for what you've allowed us to have the provision. You've opened doors for us. God, we thank you that you've given us the privilege to come and sow in your house, sow into kingdom ministry, sow into what you have planted through the vision of the man of God. Even as we sow these seeds, these are not debts that we owe, but seeds that we sow. And we're trusting God that every promise in your word that you've given to multiply and recompense us is going to come to pass in due season. And we thank you for it in advance. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, follow from the rear and come on and sow the seed. If you gave it electronically, just let Mother Jack know what it was so we know where we are. It started, man.
get you up. Lift your voice and say, you woke me up this morning. Thank you, Salvation and Restoration and Full Gospel Mission was just what we wanted to do for twelve hundred dollars. God bless you. Thank God for you help us sow that seed into ministry. Uh, I thank God for what God is doing. I just want to thank God again for uh, seeing each of you and seeing our True Line family and how excited we are that the Salvation Restoration and some of the Full Gospel Mission family came to be with us today. I don't ask the saints to go to every Indian that we have, but thank God when they're able to come and show themselves faithful. All over the building, if you're from SRCC or Full Gospel Mission, just stand up so we can see you. Just stand up with you. Come on, give yourselves a hand. Thank you so much. We appreciate you coming to share with us uh, in this day. Uh, I want to again celebrate this pastor, Pastor Ross, yes. all of the ministers and elders, Minister Kennedy, all of the mothers uh, here from True Wine Ministry. True Wine, again, is just family to us. We thank God for you, Minister Price, all of you. I want to thank God for, uh, from Folk Now Submission, Minister Calvin Keyes, amen, is here with us. <laughs> Minister Michael Banks, amen, I appreciate you, man, God. I appreciate each of you. All the work that's being done there in the Folk Gospel Mission family, uh, all of the uh, deaconess and uh, evangelist missionaries and persons who have traveled with us. Thank God for our faithful uh, Elder Phillips is with us, and I thank God for him. Uh, again, you had one of our best and one of God's best with you this morning, Evangelist Monica Hall. Praise God for her. Lord, please tell in a great way. I sat in my office and watched the video, and I thank God that right there at the altar with her was none other than. My wife, right. first lady. Watch it now. Amen. Love the Come on, help me celebrate my wife. Yes, sir. Thank you for coming in, Mother of the Day, Pastor Day. Thank God. Thank God for Mother of Darcy Day. Come on, let's praise God for her. Pastor God, thank you for Praise God for you. Each of you, my father's children. Uh, I do not endeavor to labor with you long. This will be my third time preaching today. So I don't endeavor to labor with you long, but we just want to share with us, save the Lord. Thank God for these great Levites, Brother Albert, Brother Lequan, Brother Daniel. Let's praise God for them. Uh, how many that God said he's with you? Yes. Somebody just lift your hand for a minute and say, I will be with you. Come on a little bit and lift your hand and say that. Say, I will be with you. I will be with you. If you would only you say, yeah. trust me. God says to trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Come on, I know we didn't call the choir, but all the choir members stand up and help me do the say, I will be with you. Come on, say it. I will be with you. Come on, let me get three parts. I will be with you.
Jesus, you will find a straight on him. If you feel like you're lonely, God said, I'll never leave you. I'll forsake you. Whatever you feel, use the word. And after he used the word, the devil had to leave him alone. And the Bible said, he came out of the wilderness, walking in power, walking in authority, healing the blessed, opening blind eyes. It was God's agenda. Look at the neighbor and tell the neighbor that I'm trust God's agenda. What you got to do is understand whatever you're going through your attack is God's agenda. Whatever you're dealing with is God's agenda. I know in 10 years there's been some disappointment, there's been some disappointment, there's been some disenchantment, but it's God's agenda because God said, I'm anointing you. God said, I'm the flesh in you. God said, in your life, it's God. It's God's agenda. I think the Lord, it's God's agenda. It's God's agenda. Yes, I've dealt with some affliction, but God said, many are the afflictions of the righteous. Look around you and say, God, you deliver it all. It's God's agenda. Yeah. The agenda sets the tone. The agenda sets the order. So God is saying, everything I'm taking you through is setting the order. Look at some pastor and say, it's setting the order. For your ministry is setting the order. For your life is setting the order. For your marriage is setting the order. It's God's agenda. It's God's agenda. It's not my agenda. It's not the bishop's agenda. It's not even the pastor's agenda. What God is about to do uh, is God's agenda. And it's in his own time. Oh, wait, I'm going. Uh, my father's about it. It's about I'm on God's agenda. Hey. Oh, God's agenda. But yeah, 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 
you. Because you know that you're on God's agenda. And God, your agenda has already set the bullet points of my life and ministry. Run down here and get a bunch and go back with you. Come on, quick, do it quick, do it quick.
but to seal this miracle that happened here today, I need you. It's going to be tough, but this is it's enough room to go to 10 people, 5, 10 people before you sit down. 10 is the number of order. And tell them, thank God, I want the agenda. Come on, you tell them the chairman of the universe has set the agenda. Find at least 10 people and tell them, thank God, I'm on the agenda. against the man of God and we claim victory strength and strategy in Jesus name 
Somebody clap your hands and sing Jesus' name. I am grateful. And Minister Maurice, is there anything else that you have? Sister Tasha, I don't want to get in trouble. All right, on August 3rd, somebody say August 3rd. August 3rd. We will continue our celebration with a banquet right. at Birdies of Westbury. Now they only got 150 seats, so you might as well get your tickets now. You can see Sister Kelly, wave your hands, Sister Kelly. Sister Tasha, wave your hands, Sister Tasha. Amen. And anybody on the finance committee, we, we are looking to have a great time. Bishop Tony Terrain will be our speaker Amen. from Baltimore, Maryland. Amen. Amen. I want to thank God for all of our guests today. The Reverend Dr. The Seminarian, Pastor Leo Colon. Come on, greet the people. Grace and peace be to you from God our Father and from the Lord, Jesus Christ. It is a singular honor to be here amongst you today. And I thank God for the word of God. Can somebody thank God for the word of God? I thank God for the charismatists of the hour. His grace. Bishop Butler. Who gave us a word. We are on the agenda. Now I want you to know that after such a meeting, watch your voice, watch your voice. Someone will holler, Brother Pastor, I move that the agenda be accepted. As written. Is there a second? Is there a second? kind of stuff that gets us in trouble because when we understand that the agenda was written by God it means the good and the bad that we thought it was was all planned. it's all good and for those of us and for those of us that are Calvinists you see we understand that there's no mistake in God so Pastor Ross the 10 years every heartache was planned Every disappointment was planned. Every time nobody showed up, God planned it. And everybody who's here is not here by happenstance. But God in his infinite wisdom. Listen, I have learned, Bishop, I have learned that no pastor is where he is because of his sagacity. Or her sagacity. But our God is gracious. Our God is kind. Beloved, I, I stand before you a walking miracle. I, I was in ICU three years ago. At this time, as a matter of fact, I was in the hospital behind COVID dying. Yes, sir. Dying. Dying. But come. Congratulations, it was on the agenda. Congratulations, you have done well. So many churches, probably bigger than this, have closed down. But God said no. Are you grateful? I don't know about you, but I'm grateful that God has an agenda. Thank God for Pastor Ross and thank God for our bishop. Thank God for all the pastors who are here assembled. My my, my little cousin is now an elder. Amen. Michael Banks. We thank God for you, sir. I thank God for my amazing, most wonderful praying wife. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm telling you now, I wouldn't be here without her praying. Yes, sir. I don't know about you, but I I, I was sick and couldn't do nothing had tube stuck up in my nose, but my wife was praying. And I thank God for a praying wife. I thank God Dorothy Colon is here, Pastor Dorothy Colon. I thank God for her. My mom is here, Mother of Day. 
and we thank God for the state supervisor of Mother of Bay. And my cousins in here, God bless you all. This is a wonderful time. And I thank God because I'm declaring the decree that I'll be here for the 40th anniversary of Tabo Shin. And it will still be on the agenda when this church is 150 years old. But remember, today, the word came forth that this was all in God's plan. God to dinner. Brother Pastor, I move that we accept the agenda as presented. Is there a second? Name. I'm going to help somebody lighten the load because a few people came in late. Sister Kelly, where's your basket? If you did not have an opportunity to sow into this anointing, you have that opportunity now. If you, if you got cash or a check, we'll take it. If not, you can give electronically by Givelify, finding True Vine Ministries, Church of God in Christ, in Freeport, New York, or you can go to Cash App, dollar sign, TVM, C-O-G-I-C-1. Amen? Amen. If you have something, just wave. At, uh, Minister Maurice is in the back with the basket. You can just see him as you're getting ready to go. Amen. All right, let us all be mindful of what God has given us. And I want you to protect what God has given you. Because the devil is already stirring. And he wants to put something in your ear to take away everything that God gave you in this season. But the devil is a liar. And when somebody come to you try to bring you some gossip tonight, say, no, I'm on God's agenda. Hallelujah. All right, let us all stand and let's receive our bishop. He's going to have last say and send us. Amen. Thank God again for this wonderful opportunity and environment to just come and share the word. And true vine, we love you. And we believe in God for greater things. Let's look to the Lord. God, our Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you for your people. God, this is your house that you have ordained and established. And God, we believe in you agenda you've established. Great ministry, kingdom work. God, this is good soil out of which we'll see great harvest. God, we thank you, God, even as we leave this weekend of celebration, but continue to go forward. That God, you go with us as we go. God, give us what to do and how to do. Give us revelation, knowledge in your word and the wisdom of God. God, look on your people that they leave this place, but not from your presence. God, rest, rule, and abide with us. Take us to our places of abode. Let us find all things in order as we left them. And God, because we're careful that you alone get the glory, honor, and praise every time we gather. God, we trust you for these things. And it's in Jesus' name we say, Amen.